As you can see here, there's these closet doors behind me. They're super duper white and blank. Everything else in my room here is pretty decked out. It's a kind of an eyesore and something that I've been considering doing for a while. Got all the colors that they had available. This paint is by Folk Art, which is this, the just the craft paint brand, but it's called One Decor Paint, and that's what kind of got my eye was the decor paint. And it says it's a paint and sealer in one. So it's ideal for being accents inside your home on wood or it says other things too. And here we are. Went ahead and already did the prep work of cleaning the surface of what I'm about to paint, which are these two sliding doors. They've been white for far too long. Didn't show this earlier, but I also bought a pack of just cheap brushes. That way you don't have to use the ones for my paintings. I also plan to use Posca pens. There is no real plan here except floral, very colorful and flowy. I'm going to start with this door, finish it and move to the next door. I have never done a large scale area like this. I'm really excited to do it though. I think it's gonna awaken something in me. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and it's just been put off and put off and put off, but I just got really inspired to do it lately, especially today. The sun is about to set, but hopefully I have enough light. I just feel like if I don't do it now, if I don't start it now, then I'm gonna sit on it even longer and I'm sick of looking at this thing. Get a nice healthy glob on there. I'm not real sure how it's gonna turn out. Also, I noticed that I have a mix of high gloss and eggshell. At Michael's, I saw that it said eggshell at whichever one I was looking at first. So I assumed they were all the same finish. All right, well. Ooh, that feels really good <laughs> to just do it. Now it looks kind of rough now, but I'm not gonna get scared. I'm gonna trust the process. This may end up consisting of a lot of layering, but I'm up for the challenge because there's no rush. And this is all in the name of just doing something to do it. I just went for a finer brush. The fatter brush got some coverage, but might be a little bit too blunt for the shape of these petals. Oh yeah, I forgot that this door is gonna be something because it moves. Garrett had mentioned putting something heavy behind there. All this brush is shedding. Ooh. Oh, I got him. Okay, that's the downside of cheap brushes. I'm not trying to rush, but I'm also not trying to take all day and be super perfect and save all the precision for the tattoo making where it's really important. I say this a lot because it's so true. It's just different. It's from my norm. I'm so happy right now. I got this super light pink and I'm just gonna, just gonna go. I'm just treating this as like the base, the undercoat, the, the skeleton, the idea, and then build on top of that. I'm just imagining what this flower will look like, which you saw how I did the circle and then I kind of drew the petals there and then I filled it all in because I can imagine where all this stuff is gonna lie. I definitely want there to be room for leaves. So I'm going to leave it spaced out. I'm holding it still with my foot. Did y'all hear it was knocking back and forth? I don't think I can do this for long though because it would kill my shin muscle. What I'm doing right now, it looks, it looks wacky, you know? It's like, what is that blob thing? But it, it just will come together. And it's so satisfying to see it when it does start coming together and making sense. It's really happening. 
I have half of mine to add strawberries in the mix. <laughs> we'll see, but I'm gonna add another sunflower right here. And then we'll see. I'm gonna do another sunflower, but this time it's gonna be different. I actually did find some inspiration. There's a picture I found the other day of some really cute strawberries with some blossoms. And I just thought it was so cute. Mm. Okay, so I took my camera cover and put it on this white paint, thinking that this was the cap for the paint and it was not. Excuse me. Hey, it's a few days later. I am ready to get back to work on this. Can't see what I'm doing. I'm going in there super duper duper lightly just to have kind of a very vague idea of where I want to put leaves. I did go through and drew in more foliage, vines, and now I'm just gonna go at it. Now that the first coat of dark blue has been applied, I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna blow dry it. And then we're gonna add a second coat off camera. I'll be back with light blue. All right, friends, now that everything is dry, I'm ready to rock and roll with some green. I'm gonna be starting with the vines and the leaves and the strawberries. And we're gonna see how far we get. I got a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green. I'm gonna blend it up because I want to do the other side of these leaves a lighter green. So we're just gonna make our own. Got it mixed up, that's what it looks like. been another couple of days and this is what we got done in two sittings. Don't know how many hours it was. I wasn't keeping track. Now that it's been a few days, I can clearly see some things that I want to do on here, which you can see on the next video. Nothing makes my heart sing more than expressing my creativity. And now I get to do it in multiple ways, tattooing, painting, and sharing the process with you making these YouTube videos. So thank you so much for being here and watching. If you're not subscribed yet, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And if you'd like to support me even further, drop this video a like and feel free to leave me a comment. I always respond back and I look forward to hearing from you. I hope that you stick around and see the process of how this comes out. Thanks again.